all I said is you might need some backing lessons. on the defensive side and yeah started big ordeal of mister I know what I'm doing and I've been driving since blah 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 and yeah so had one of those mornings and I told him well straight up I was like you keep telling me you know what you're doing and I'm not seeing it so whatever which he should be done with his hours in the next couple of hours so I might just see if I could drop him off somewhere anywhere because I don't care right now but we'll see I don't know where I'm going after this they try to get me to go back to Ohio and I, was, I didn't even respond to that so See, something like that would be cool to haul. Have a step deck or a flatbed. Haul that. Eventually. Yeah, you see? He's lost as fuck over there. He was gonna go to the shop. And then he finally realized, oh, it's not the truck stop. That's the shop. Oh, it's over here. So, we originally came that way. And we went through the front of these trucks. And we came around and we came from over there. Now, I believe when you're behind the wheel and you're driving, car, truck, doesn't matter. You're driving. Pay attention on where you're going what's around you just the basics that way so when you get out of the truck you're not walking halfway across the truck stop the wrong way to realize you're going the wrong way and then have to turn and go the right way now <clears throat> we went back and forth early, earlier today right now we're at the truck stop because we're unloaded and I don't have, <clears throat> I don't have a load yet. So we're here, but earlier we went back and forth, and what the heck did he say? 
Oh. He goes, trip planning isn't the biggest thing to worry about. Which, trip planning is one of the things to worry about. But, at the same time, if you don't pay attention either of where you're going. Like, he drove us. We literally took one exit. We got from the rest area. Got on the interstate. A quarter of a mile later, we got off. We turned right. We went about a mile and a half. Yeah, about a mile and a half down. And then we turned left. And then it came to a stop sign. So we had to turn right. As soon as we turned right, our delivery was a quarter mile down the road. <clears throat> now, this GPS on these Qualcomms will say you have arrived at your destination. And then there's an entrance on your left side. Well, why are you going to turn on the entrance just because that tells you you arrived at your location? When there's a big sign that said Tyson passed that, that entrance. Which you could tell that entrance had no involvement with Tyson. So you would automatically think to keep going. Well, no, he's about to turn into a wrong entrance, which... If he turned in there, he would have been able to get turned around. But other places that he tried to turn to without paying attention on where he's going, besides listening to that, would have screwed him up. But he asked me, he was like, you been here before? I was like, no. I pull it up. I pull everything up. Everywhere I go, I pull up, see what it's like, see where the entrance, see where this is at. He goes, this is what I was trying to bring up. He goes, um, he goes, how am I able, how am I supposed to trip plan when all you do is say it's your turn to drive and then I get in the seat and then you ask me, do I know what I'm, where I'm going or where, what we're doing? He goes, how, how is that helping me? And I told him, I was like, it's not. But it doesn't help when you stay in the back for your full 10 hours on top of your 11 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours off the clock. Because as soon as he's done here, he goes right to the back. He doesn't ask questions. He doesn't do anything. I, exp I tell him what we're doing. I write stuff down in my binder. And my my last student gave me one of these Swift books where you write down all your load information. And I told him, start using that. Start writing down your information of the loads that we're doing. Does he do it? No. So I've been doing it on both books just for a simple fact. That little one, I'm trying to see if I get used to it or not but it's not working I still write stuff down to where I notice it's easier for him to grab that and look at it than to grab my binder and see what load we're on because I get I get like three load informations all on one page and that one you flip a page each time for each load has its own page so he's like well why didn't he goes why don't you write it down in the little book and I was like because I wrote it down in my binder And that's another thing. If you want stuff written down and you're gonna and you know you're gonna use it, why are you looking at the mentor to write it down when the Qualcomm's right there? It's your job to write it down. And then he goes, Well, all you do is criticize. Well, when I don't criticize, you're still doing it wrong. And when I do criticize, I'm trying to help you, so it's two way street right there. Like the backing earlier, yeah. I told him he needed he he might need more um, backing lessons. Well, he just like I said earlier went on defense and it just went on from there. So I try to let you show me that you know what you're doing, cause like I said, 
he goes, well, I know what I'm doing and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that's when I told him, I was like, you keep telling me you know what you're doing, but I'm not seeing it. I'm really not. Because right here, we're, 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 we're parked. And there's only that hawk truck on the right side of us. Well, there's this CR England on the left side. Well, this is how he's parked, which is fine. But I told him this is where we're going to park. But for him to just come from over here, come down, turn right, and the straight back, it took him a minute. The first time he screwed up completely. I ain't say nothing. I just let him do whatever he's doing. Second time, he finally got it. Or eventually got it. But stuff I'm talking about. I know everybody they see Swift drivers fucking backing up and looks like they don't know what the hell they're doing. They they just freaking set the truck up to back up. They don't set the trailer up for backing. And that's pretty much what he does. He drives the truck. He doesn't drive the trailer. The whole key is that trailer. I look at that trailer like that's pretty much the main thing I'm worried about. I'm like if I know I get my truck in, I'm trying to figure out how am I going to get the trailer in. Not just the truck, the trailer. Because if you know how to get the trailer in, your truck's going to go where you're going to put your truck where it needs to go. And some people don't realize that. They just try to get the truck in and think the trailer's going to follow them. No. The whole, the whole concept is getting that trailer where it needs to be. So you can make your turns or entrance and all that. It's your trailer. But right now, right now he's like, well, I only got four hours. I'm like, yeah. And he goes, going west? I was like, well, that's what I told dispatch, but who knows? And then he tried to bring up something like, oh, in 2016, I was driving. What were you doing? No, my bad, 2006. 2006, I told him, I was like, exactly where you're at in the seat I was like I was in the truck with my uncle I didn't tell him that but I was in a semi truck in 2006 I may not have had my license but halfway through my life I was in a semi truck so a lot of the stuff that I try to drill into your head when you're in my truck is the stuff that I want you to get better at. I'll even tell you if you're actually doing a good job that you're doing a good job. Or you, I won't have to tell you because you could see that I'm confident in you to do the job just off of how I was from the beginning to how I am now. If nothing changes on how I feel on your backings or this and that, then there's something wrong. Now maybe... He just doesn't want to show me anything because he feels he knows everything. And that right there, since all he says is, I know what I'm doing, that's not something I want to hear from anybody in my truck or on my truck. For a simple fact, I don't know anything. I'm just a truck driver. I understand what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know everything. I understand most or half, but I don't know it. I just understand how to do my job. And that's one thing, that's something that a lot of rookies don't realize. It's like you come out here and you went through training. Like he goes, well, I went through Roadmaster. I'm like, okay, you went to Roadmaster. So how are, okay. He goes, I went to Roadmaster. Even though he says he knows what he's doing, he went to Roadmaster. And then he goes, so apparently they're not te they didn't teach me what I need to know. And I'm like, then how are you going to sit there and tell me you know what you're doing? If you could sit there and say Roadmaster didn't teach you what you should know. What you should know. But I'm not going on. Alright, so on the real tip, just go ahead and let me know.
am I at fault? How much am I at fault? Or is he at fault? Or is it a two-way street to where there's a lot of stuff he should be doing that he's not doing? Or is there stuff that I'm doing wrong to where I'm either being too hard on him or something? If you guys actually watch this whole video, you'll see this in clip. So, I know you guys probably won't enjoy it, but it's just one of those things I figured I'd just throw out there real quick. Just one of those days, you know. But, alright, I'm we're sitting here at the TA still. Um, waiting for my dispatch to hit me up. Um, he's in there taking a shower. I don't have shower credits at, T, at TA. I don't really care for the showers. Um, so, see you guys shortly.